The spiritual warfare on the planet right now is at a peak and it's going to continue to rise. There's a lot at stake at the moment and truthfully speaking, it's a battle for your soul and your energy. So right now, you can't be too trusting of people. You can't be naive. Make sure you protect yourself and you scan the environments around you and make sure that you don't just give in to what people want of you and protect yourself at this moment. Things are definitely looking rough and I know a lot of people are going through many psychic attacks and, and uh, other deceitful and wicked things that astral beings are wanting to do to you and um, even people in your waking life. A lot of people are suffering right now because of the energetic warfare on the planet. But you have to just fight through every day, no matter how bad it gets. I mean, I was in a dream the other night and I had to call upon Shiva to destroy some entities that were running after me in the dream. They were literally shooting bow and arrows at me, right? And I was, I was pushing them away, but there were so many of them that I just called upon Shiva out of nowhere and he sent several lightning bolts. Uh, bolts into these people and they scattered they fucking scattered so if you want to work with a powerful deity in order to uh, manage the energetic warfare and to destroy your enemies i would recommend shiva and you know what's so funny i haven't really consciously invoked shiva in my waking life like i haven't really worked with him but the fact that in my dream i called upon him and he came through for me I really think that's amazing, right? Because I know not all deities work with everyone and not all deities protect everyone. So I guess this is a shout out to Shiva. Thank you for protecting me in that dream. And so if you guys are looking for a powerful deity to work with for energetic warfare, call upon Shiva. And just keep safe and protect yourself. All right.